Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and today we're going to play with these painty papers that I found when I was straightening up my papers in the studio. Y'all know, I kind of put them here, there, everywhere, and I found them, and I'm like, what are these doing here? I need to make a journal. So, we're going to make a journal with the painty papers. I will add a link in the description box below and one in the upper right hand uh, corner for the uh, old video where I made the papers, okay? It's an old video, y'all. Alright? Okay. Any hoots? These are roughly half a page of an eight and a half by uh, 11 sheet of paper, okay? Roughly half. They are not cut perfectly, okay? But I am folding them in as half a best as, as half I can, okay? That noise you hear in the background, that's the dishwasher. We are multitasking today. You know I do this, okay? Okay. So, we've folded all our papers in half, and now we're going to start gluing. Oh, uh, by the way, a disclaimer, I don't know what this type of binding is called. So, I made a name up. Let me see. Let me pull up my, my paper to tell me what I called this. Okay. Just hope. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. I... Okay, I have emailed a friend, and I, and so I'm I'm looking for help. So, if if I get a reply, I will put that. Uh, you know, I'll put it on the screen and so in the description box or wherever, whatever. I'm calling this a lay flat perfect folio binding. And the reason I'm calling that is because we've folded the pages and we've made them into folios. Now we're gluing each folio to the next one. All right? We're not gluing the spine. We are gluing this one half of the back side of the folio. It's kind of hard for me to explain. Okay? Folio is when you take a piece of paper and you fold it in half and it unfolds its folio, y'all. And... Uh, so we're gluing uh, the back of one to the back of the other one, and if you and if you you know are real more carefuler, you can get it more lined or up. And then we're smooshing it all out, trying to get the air bubbles worked out and junk like that, and try not to get glue everywhere, and you know stuff like that. So you know ad nauseum stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna use a bone folder. Okay? Okay. Um, originally they were, but not anymore. You could probably still get some if you're a collector and, I don't know, I was going to say weird person, but I won't say weird person. You could just be a collector. That does not make you weird because I have got some, some collections out there in my studio that are just like, what? <laughs> so I'm smearing the glue and I'm using this uh, silicone brush smoother thing. It's it's not a brush. It's silicone. It's almost like a spatula, but it's made for art and y'all. It's from the Dollar Tree. So anyway, um, this is just copy paper. So it's, you know, when it gets damp with glue, it, um, you know, behaves the way thinner paper does. You can use double-sided tape if you want to. I didn't want to. Okay, okay. Now we have that out of the way. Anyway, I'm calling it a perfect binding because perfect bindings are typically glued on the spine, even though these are glued on the um, folio itself, leaving the spine unglued because the fold. Of the folios stack up and they become the spine. It, 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 I've seen this before. I don't know the name of it, y'all. I looked it and looked it and looked it and couldn't find it. That's why I made up my own name of it. So there's that. And uh, I am trying to keep them pretty, pretty well lined up, guy. Okay pretty well lined up 
and each time I'm adding a page I'm going back and I'm smooshing all the previous pages okay okay now it doesn't have to be glued exactly totally up to the spine but pretty near close y'all so we've got them all glued except like one or two pages that you know so I can show you that we're still adding I, I didn't count the pages or if I did I don't remember the number of the pages okay so there's that some more of that stuff really happy with it now like I said these were not all perfectly cut half sheets so uh, once I get them all glued together this is an after I get them glued together y'all and uh, we're gonna force dry this one of these days y'all I'm just so stinking happy did I say that already I don't know because we still got a cover to make because you know needs a cover y'all and um, so we're still doing that and portions of this video have been sped up for your viewing ease and my or your viewing pleasure <laughs> oh, whatever and my voice over ease that's it that's the ticket so um, we're going to use some chicken and a biscuit crackers I like them y'all Oh, anyway, box. We're using faux chipboard, y'all. You can use real chipboard if you want to. You can use cardstock or heavy watercolor paper for the cover, too, if you want. You can use whatever you want to. You want to. And I am cutting it ever so slightly larger than my, uh, my text block. Now, text block is when you have all your uh, your folios and everything kind of put together and it's what you're going to put inside your cover. That's a text block. Okay, so now it's a text block. <laughs> Perfect binding text block folio. Whatever I called it. So, I've got this other painty paper. I found it in my stash too, y'all. And I thought, well, that's the perfect amount of, of uh, painty drop paper stuff for a cover. It's going to be perfect, y'all. And it is perfect. So, um, I'm just kind of guesstimating because the one side's got a hole in it. And that's the side I want to be the front, okay? And it really didn't matter because we fixed that one thing that I didn't like about the back. But we'll get there. We'll get there. You don't really necessarily have to do this, but I am lightly sanding over the shiny part of uh, my cracker box, God, just to knock it back and give just a little tooth for the glueage to stick to. Oh, and we are using my favorite glues. If you weren't aware of that, it says so on the bottle. Every once in a while I show the bottle, but not, not so much. So we're just going to smear the glue out again. You can use Yes Base, and again, you are free to use double-sided tape. If you should happen to want to make one of these yourself. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to kind of center up the part I want on the cover, kind of. And uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be straight on the paper, y'all, because, you know, it's going to fold over. We're folding it up. Oh, we're using our roller, our wooden roller, to smoosh everything together and make it all happy married. Be happy married, y'all. There's the hole. So I'm trimming off the excess. Excess, not access. Excess. And then I'm going to add some glue in it. And I'm like, oh, I didn't cut my corner. So we'll come back and we'll do that in a minute. I'm still smooshing it down. Now, this is not a heavy... Uh, cover okay it doesn't have to be a heavy cover actually you don't even have to use a cover if you don't want to whatever you want to do so evidently I'm doing something I don't know what I'm doing over there Gotta cut that out so we're gonna smoosh our glue out and and this is just the way I do it y'all do it whatever way you want to oh it's like oh the corners oh no the corners and as you see I'm not totally cutting perfectly to the edge of uh, the chipboard there. I'm folding that over and I'm taking my thumb now and you don't have to have a big thumb now. Just a little, little bit. Or you can use a bone folder, not a real bone, whatever you want to use to kind of smoosh in them corners just a little, little tiny bit. Now the paper is damp so it's soft and it will tear. So use some caution y'all. 
and we're smooshing the glue on the sides and we're just going to tump it up there a little bit and bolt it over and uh, in the end you can't really see the inside of this quite so much so, so the quarters are really not even noticeable at all but it does make a difference okay so there we go that's our front cover ta-da and now we're going to do the back cover essentially the same way do I show you that whole thing I think I speed it up I speed it up look how fast those live action hands are going y'all <laughs> so here's our back cover now I will tell you what I'm not real happy about on this back cover it's got that big sploosh smoosh of pink I don't know what color it's coming off on your screen but it's pink y'all it's a light you know baby pink and uh, sometimes you get what you get when you're using drop papers but I got a fix for this one y'all Mm -hmm. just wait for it okay so we're doing the same thing remember to cut the corners first tump it up tuck in with my little thumbnail tuck in with the little thumbnail smoosh it down and the glue for the sides smoosh that out smoosh that out tump it up smoosh it over and smooshing it down and here we go see there's that big pink splotch now it's dried for just a few minutes i don't know maybe five minutes and i've got this little piece of leftover that just about matches perfectly with those colors right up there because it's the same paper y'all and i'm just uh tearing it lightly with my little tiny baby thumbnail okay and uh, as you can see when you lay it on there it virtually disappears virtually dis and you you know what anybody that looked at the back of this cover right now would never know that it had a spot on there i didn't like and that i did this to repair cover said spot look at that you think it's the magic of video no in real life you really can't see it because this kind of paper is is i, I think it's see look at that i mean wow it's like a newsprint almost almost not quite almost so you know it's it's you know flimsy cheap that's why it's drop paper and i thought well let's let's make this a little hardier and we're going to put this gloss varnish on there because oh it just really makes a difference sometimes you don't have to use gloss but it's what i have so it's what i'm using i do have some matte but i wanted a little poof poof uh, I'm not going to use that word pop because <clears throat> that's a no-no word anymore. So anyway, that's all nice and dry. All right. I said, well, let's ink the edges. And I really wanted a purpley color, but this is plum. And it's more of a red color than a purple color. But that's okay. Look how pretty it is. I mean, pretty, y'all. So we're inking around because we're going, going fancy on this one, y'all. I'm kind of doing the inside. Okay. Now we're going to put on a black because, you know, you, you bring that color, the color one in just a little bit to frame and then you go around in the, in the black and it just more frames it and it's just more beautiful -er edge. Beautiful -er edge. And this year I was going to slow down on my yap and voiceovers. Whatever. So I have this stick because I'm like, I want to use a stick for the closure. I want to. So I really had to stop and think about how to use a stick for the closure. So now I'm going to make a little centering mark with using a centering ruler, y'all. Using a ruler, but I'm not measuring. Mm -mm. Not really. So crop a dial in the little tiny hole that's on there, you know, the little hole. And I got an eyelid over here. It is purple. I'm going to put the eyelid on there. Now, I'm flying by the seat of my pants, y'all, because I'm like, I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's going to be a closure, or it's going to be a stick anyway. So here's the stick. Let's take this purple, because it's purple, uh, metallic-y color plastic thread stuff, and then I, I, you know, I get it all figured out, and I'm going to wrap it around there and tighten a knot and all this stuff. And I didn't leave myself enough room to tie a knot, so we're just making a big old mess. And watch, watch, I'm going to try to tie a knot around the stick. Are you watching? 
Okay, get a crochet hook so you can pull those loose threads through the loop or it comes off the stick. Hmm, that didn't work. Try it again. Oh, now the, all of the threads won't go through. The, well, now I've got a mess. Ugh. Do it again. <laughs> I've got more. I've got more. So this time I get more, even more thread, and I pull it out, and, and I, I cut it, and, you know, apart, and do it again. And I think we do it, do we do it one more time? No, I'm twisting it together, so maybe to be more butter together. Now we're going to tie it through. It worked it more better. Even with the hook, it worked it more better. Because I, I left myself more more green to actually tie knots with because yeah can't get on the stick <laughs> that's typically get off the stick isn't it anyway get on the stick I'm like I hope I like the side that my knot's not on knot's not on and I tied like three three knots because yeah I'm like tied a bunch of times what's it gonna hurt because I need it to, and I'm using a little fabric fix on, on the knot, and I needed it to raise up just a little bit from the, hurry up dry fabric fix, from the, uh, the eyelet there so that we can get our closure looped around it. Stick that in through the eyelet. Okay. Now I'm going to stick the other end. Oh, they're all loose. Poopa do they won't go through that well we'll just put some fabric fix on there and make them stick together okay now we gotta let that dry for 24 hours holy cow not really sticking that through there okay okay so see it's kind of loose you know not totally loosey goosey but kind of loose put some fabric fix on there because it was right there and it's so it's what I grabbed we smooshed out our ends. Now we're going to put some paper to help keep them in place. And this is scrap paper from the from the front cover or the back cover, whichever the case may be. And that will help uh, ensure that the, oh, that's sticking to me. Oh my gosh. Get, get, uh. So let that dry for 24 hours no it doesn't have to dry that long it's just a little bit y'all and I thought well I, I, want, I don't want to cover my spine up but I don't want it shiny white either so I'm mixing up a color that is kind of close to the purple okay yeah kind of yeah it's like yeah that's perfect so we're going to put that on the spine. Now in a sense, this is perfect binding because acrylic paint is somewhat like a glue. You know, it's an acrylic medium. So it is kind of kind of like a glue, y'all. Not really. So I'm smearing that on there. I'm like, yeah, that's enough. Rinsing my brush over there. Hey, can y'all. Heat gun, y'all. Oh, and when we were nobody was looking after the pages got good and dry, and you want to make sure they are good and dry, I took it over to my big fancy guillotine and uh, trimmed up the top and the bottom and the open edge, not the spine edge, y'all. Don't cut the spine off. So, you know, it's a more precise size. And I wrote it on there. I don't, I can't exactly read it, but it's essentially like, um, four and an eighth wide by five and a quarter tall something like that that's that's just the the text block okay okay so that yeah that's that's good and dry yeah that seems that seems pretty pretty okay good there okay that's where's the front where's the back okay get it like that see you can't, you can't even see it so, now, I want to use these ribbons, but I, <laughs> like I said, I'm not, I'm just, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. They were sort of a plan, but not a plan. I'm like, yeah, I want to use a ribbon on the top and a ribbon on the bottom and one in the middle. That will act as the looper closer thingy. So, I'm like, hmm, you, you need to put your ribbon on there first. I guess I could have put it on top. That would have worked, too, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Trying to think ahead again, y'all. Oh, not always a good idea. 
it worked this time it worked okay okay so I'm marking out uh, where where my ribbons are going because I want them kind of centered up you know it's perfect y'all it is perfect so see there's my two the, those are the spine sides where the mark are or marks are where the marks is marks are marks a lot so I need this one to stick out further but I really don't know how much further so that's why it's longer and this is the last of the ribbon off of that particular spool of whatever brand of ribbon it is and I want it to stick out just a little bit on the front on the on the open edge not the spine edge on the open edge y'all okay okay so yeah perfect yeah now we're going to glue that side to the back cover I'm like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? This is sped up, y'all. So, hmm, put my Aileen's glue on there. What am I doing? What am I doing? No, I don't want to do that. Let's put it on the paper like we did before. Okay. So, and y'all, this, when you open it up, it lays flat. Of course, the pages want to flip up because, you know, they're not used to being in a journal yet because it's got to get used to the idea of being a journal instead of flat pieces of uh, painty paper like they were. Now they're journal pages, okay? So, you know, you kind of got to give things a little bit of time to adjust to what they are now, okay? Okay. All right, hold them ribbons out of the way because we don't want to get glue all on them because that would, you know. There we go. Okay, whew. That's the back. That's the back cover. Center it up -ish, you know. Smoosh it down. Hold her. Is it perfect? Oh, it's perfect. Roll it, make it get married, be happy, be happy. Okay. All right. Yay, look at that. Careful. That's wet. You don't want to stick your finger through it. Oh, goodness gracious, you wouldn't want to do that. Okay, now what? Now we got to put the front cover on. But how are we going to do this? I'm like, um, hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. So I'm like, them ribbons just keep flip flopping everywhere. So let's just washi tape them out of the way. That's some washi tape I, I don't care for. I know probably some of y'all do, but I don't. One day it will be gone. One day. I use it just little bits at a time. So we're gonna put glue on the uh, on the front. Okay, folio, so we can put our front cover on. And that's my glue book. It's a book I glue on, not in. So I took the ribbons off. Now I got to put the glue uh, on my glue lines there, okay? Because they're they're going to come across there. Smoosh back. It's a bit too much glue, but you know it's okay. It's all right. You'll never know. Don't tell anybody, and they'll never know either. So there, we're just going to kind of line it up. Now, because this is wet glue, I do have a, you know a couple minutes to slip slide stuff around. But you have to be extra careful because that inside page there is just um, copy paper. So you know, gotta be careful. Is it is it is it lining up? Yep, it's kind of kind of doing what I want it to do. Oh, I'm getting lucky, y'all. I am getting so lucky. So there we go. There we go. Smooshing it all. Get married. Get married. Be careful because it's wet. And you know, paper. Wet paper is sometimes not the friendliest of things. Okay. Get rid of that gluey paper. Okay. Yes. Smoosh it down. Trim the ribbon. I want them kind of even. I really wanted a lot more sticking out. But, you know, so it goes. That's just how it goes sometimes. It's like, whatever. Now, now what are we going to do? We'll put a little more uh, fabric fix on there. Going to kind of fill in the the eyelet hole just a little. Is it necessary? I don't know, but I did it. Made me happy to did it. Hey, can y'all?
Hurry up and dry, hurry up and dry, hurry up and dry, little journal. Hurry up and dry, hurry up and dry, hurry up and dry, little journal. <laughs> That's a song I just made up. Just now, this very instant that I singed it on the voiceover. So anyway, I'm calling this Lay Flat Perfect Folio Binding. It probably has a, has a way more better, cooler name than that. But that's what I'm calling it until I hear from a friend. Now, essentially, I'm like, I was done. And then I'm like, no. I love paper dolls. I love the Timmy paper dolls. Let's put a paper doll on the front. I got Timmy translucent wings somewhere. And I found them. So, I picked it this one. Because there's a little orange color speckled throughout on the cover and the back, too, by the way. So I'm using Fabrifix again to stick the little wing behind the girl. Both wings behind the girl, because she's got two wings. It's, they're matching. They don't have to match. You don't have to use wings. You don't have to use paper doll. You don't have to put anything on there. You can just put words on there if you want words. But I didn't put any words on there. I had a little pokey sharp corner there from when I trimmed it apart. And I'm like, no, I didn't like it, so I took it off. Even though you never would have been able to see it. Okay, let's fabric fix our girl on there. And her wingses. Okay. And she's just going to go right down here. Now, what I did later, but I didn't show you, is I did go around her and shadowed her a bit with uh, the Stabilo All Pencil. I was speaking of the Stabilo All Pencil and ingredient. There's a list of ingredients in the description box below the video. Click on the phrase, show more to see more information. Okay? Okay. Now, let's stay. Be happy. Flipping through, you can see each page. There will be a extensive photo montage. But wait for it. It's not yet. Okay. Pretty paper jaw. I may never put anything on here. Or if you're interested in purchasing this uh, little journal, shoot me an email. Okay. Let me know. I love these papers. I can't believe I've had them this long. It's been a while since we did a, a long while. Look at that. Ta-da! And then this, once once our little stick gets used to being, uh, having a, and the ribbon gets used to wrapping around, that's our little closure. Ta-da! Okay, tuck it under there. Photo montage! <laughs> she love this little journal y'all now there's not a whole necessarily a whole lot of expansion elbow in this one it would definitely gator mouth if you did a lot of stuff to the pages but you can just put words on the pages you don't even have to because they're already so stinking pretty now some of the photos of the pages aren't that great they are really pretty in real life and they have some shimmer and some of them have some uh metallic paint and some of them's got glitter paint and and they're just pretty y'all pretty i don't know what i did with the other halves of the pages i don't remember I don't know. Did something, I'm sure, because I don't have any more. This is it. We'd have to make some more if we wanted to. I don't want to right now. Look at that. Any hoots? Mm hmm. Is that time? I appreciate each and every one of you. Your kind comments, your likes, your subscriptions, and your shares. Share my video. If you've not already subscribed, please take a moment to subscribe at this time. <laughs> Y'all know that by heart, don't you? I almost do. Sometimes I mess it up, but it's still true. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Thanks so much for watching. And happy arting, y'all.